Welcome back. Now that we know how to manage form state, let's understand how to handle form submissions with React Hook form. The process involves three simple steps. Step one, define the function that should be called when the submit button is pressed. So let's define a function called onSubmit, where we simply lock to the console form submitted. Step two, from the form object, destructure a function called handle submit. Listen to the form on submit event and assign handle submit as the handler. To handle submit, pass the on submit function as argument. By doing this, the on submit function automatically receives access to the form data which we can log to the console. Step three, fix the TypeScript error that has popped up. React Hook form requires us to define the type of form data being submitted. Let's create the form values type at the top. Type form values. We have username of type string, email, and channel. Now, data is of type form values. When we do this, on submit, pass to handle submit throws an error. And this is basically saying the form values don't seem to match the values being submitted. To fix this, we need to add the form values type when invoking the use form hook. So use form angle brackets, form values. TypeScript is now happy. To test the form submission, fill in the form details, click on the submit button, and check the console. The form values should be logged correctly, which shows that React hook form is managing our form state properly. We have channel, email and username. If needed, you can post this data to an API endpoint. All right, now that we have successfully learned how to manage form state and handle form submissions using React Hook form, starting next video, let's focus on form validation. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.